Any business with a physical location or that serves a geographic area can benefit from local SEO. Local SEO is a large part of online search and a big business opportunity. 46% of searches on Google have a local intent and over 75% of users in the UK and the EU use Google for business information. So what does local SEO look like? When you search for a local business or service on Google, you will see a map with a list of companies at the top of the search results. This is known as the map pack, also as the local pack. The map pack appears for location specific queries or search terms that suggest a location. For example, cafes near me. It includes Google Maps results and business information. Underneath the map pack will be a list of locally focused search results. While you should not ignore the organic results, the map pack is where you should look to be included. So how does local SEO work? At a high level, local SEO works like the standard Google search. When someone searches, Google scans through its index to supply the best results for that query. What differentiates local SEO is that Google uses a separate set of ranking factors to rank local search results. These are the search's location, name, address, and phone number citations. These are also known as NAP citations. Whether or not a company has a Google My Business listing, the keywords used in the Google My Business profile, online reviews for your company, including the Google reviews, but also reviews from other sites, keywords used as online reviews, number of check-ins at your location, social media results. Google does not just display local results for queries that can turn a city, county, or near me keyword. If Google judges that the intent of your search is local, it will display local results. For example, if you were in London and you just search for pizzeria, Google would display the local results for London pizzerias. So how do you optimize your business for local SEO? The most important activities to perform to optimize your site for local search are firstly to create content optimized for each of your locations. When creating content targeted at local searches, you should create a page for each location and ensure that that content is optimized for searches related to that, that location. As at all pages on your site, the content should be unique to maximize performance. Secondly, create a Google business profile for each location. A Google business profile is a free listing that gives information about your business. It lets you provide details like your location, services, products, and photos, which appear in the Google search results. When creating local content, you first need to start off with local keyword research. Keyword research for SEO is a process of uncovering keywords used when searching for local products and services. Ranking for these keywords drives highly targeted local traffic to your site. To optimize your site, you need to start with a short list of keywords people can use to find your local business. The two best ways of doing this are using Google Search Autocomplete and Google Keyword Planner. So let's start off by looking at Google Autocomplete. Google's Autocomplete feature makes it faster to complete searches when you type by predicting what people search for. Autocomplete can help you discover keywords for local SEO because Google's Autocomplete predictions depend partly on location. So for example, if you type in cleaning services near me, you will get a list of local keyword suggestions. In this example, searching for cleaning services near me generates additional keywords such as commercial, prices, for business, home, residential, which you can include into the text of your page. Another great way to generate local keywords is Google Keyword Planner. This can be accessed from within your Google Ads account under Tools and Settings and then Keyword Planner. Google Keyword Planner generates keywords based on the content of a website. Search volumes can be filtered by location. So if we click Start with a website and then we put a website in, I've chosen, chosen a local restaurant here and then Get Results. It will generate a list of keywords related to that website. Now, if we change the location to St Albans, then just if we get rid of the United Kingdom and we just have St Albans save, then it'll give us keywords from the local area. So we can see here that it's got local keywords like a good place to eat near me, a good restaurant near me, place to eat near me, affordable steak near me. All you can eat steak near me. American food near me. So it's got keywords which you could put into the location page on your website. So for example, if you had an, an all you can eat steak near me, that would be a great thing to put onto the location page of your website. A vital factor in local SEO is your Google business profile. The Google business profile is a free business listing with information about your business. It lets you provide information like your location, services, products, and photos in the search results. 
benefits of creating a business profile include increased visibility on Google, gain credibility with reviews, and share business information with customers. Best practice for completing your Google profile include keeping it up to date, ensuring that your data on your profile is up to date and consistent across the web, filling out all the data points, so you need to fill out all the fields as fully as possible, include keywords in your description and title, that is why you did your keyword research previously, adding your opening hours, posting content, you can regularly upload photos, videos, and, and other posts. So if we look at our profile, so it's important to have a title which also has, key, has your business name and also keywords in the title, choose your business category carefully, have a description which uses the, the full length of description and has information with keywords about your services, out of the phone number, website, social profile, and obviously your location. Here we've also entered the opening times. It's a more specific thing here about amenities and accessibility. It's this information which appears on in the, the map pack on Google. So if we do a search for another local business, say restaurant, restaurants near me, these entries will include information from the Google business profile. Finally, there are three other ranking factors that you should take into consideration when you're doing your local SEO. The first is NAP citations. That stands for name, address, and phone number. These are sites that mention your business details online. Examples include business directories and social media profiles, like your Facebook page, your Yelp page, etc. NAP citations are important to your local SEO performance because Google may use them to verify your business information is accurate. Like links, you want consistent citations on as many trusted websites as possible. Here's an example of some citations for a business that I used to run. So this company's called Hello Baby. You can see it's got the contact information, the address information, phone number, etc. That's the, the Facebook page. I also have a Yelp profile, which has been had some images added, etc. And so Google will index these pages and see the information all matched up, and it will help to improve the authority of your site for local searches. Another critical ranking factor are online reviews. Reviews and testimonials build customer trust. Reviews are one of, of Google's top local ranking signals. They give social proof, giving potential customers confidence in your business. Google recommends replying to all your reviews to demonstrate you valued your customers' business and opinions. So the best practice is to maximize the number of positive reviews. Some businesses will give out cards or have some sort of terminal in their business which enables people to leave feedback there and then. And it's secondly, to respond to every review. So here is an example of a local a business local to me, um, Prime Steak and Grill, and you can see it's got what nearly over 1,000 Google reviews. And you can see it's got uh, 4.6, which is pretty good. So 1,000 reviews is a substantial number of reviews and will undoubtedly be encouraging people to go to this restaurant.